to introduce our next speaker. Someone that when I met her, she was a candidate. And I knew immediately that she would win her race in Ohio. Just her determination, uh, her resolve to do it. She didn't have a lot of people at that time who were saying, oh yeah, come on. She didn't have a big fundraising base. But I knew that she was resolute to get here and already she's speaking up, asking questions, taking names. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, this is not the last time you will see Representative Emilia Sykes. And so let me be the first to introduce you to her. Thank you, Congresswoman, and thank you for organizing this special order hour so that we can recognize women who have led the way, who are trailblazers, history makers, glass breakers, and overall fantastic human beings. You may know, or you may not know, Mr. Speaker, that Ohio has elected 13 women to Congress. And these women have been incredible role models and leaders for girls and women, as well as boys and men across this country, but particularly for us in Ohio. And I'm gonna take a few moments today just to talk about a few of those women, uh, just about eight of them, and starting in 1977 with the first Democratic woman elected to Congress from Ohio, and her name was Mary Rose Okar. She, at the age of 36, was one of the youngest women ever elected to Congress and the first Arab American woman ever elected to Congress. Congress in the United States. The next Democratic woman elected to Congress, you all know her, we all serve with her. It is the Dean of the Ohio delegation and the longest serving woman in Congress, Marcy Kaptur. Often she has been called the queen of the Great Lakes because of her advocacy, but there is nothing that you can mistake about Congresswoman Kaptur uh, that would make you think that she did not believe strongly in the people of Toledo and Northwest, uh, Northwest Ohio. Our third Democratic woman from Ohio was none other than Stephanie Tubbs Jones, the first black woman elected from the state of Ohio. Unfortunately, Congresswoman Tubbs Jones lost her life in 2008, but I got to know her and my family got to know her very well and her spirit, her passion was unmatched. And the people of Cleveland were the people who she always, always championed. And something that she said stuck out to me and I want to read it to you all here because this is a great reminder for all of us who serve in this hallowed institution. She said that if they, our constituents, are willing to stand at the polls for countless hours in the rain, then I should surely stand up for them here in Congress. The fourth woman from Ohio I'm going to acknowledge is Congresswoman, now judge of the Ninth District Court of Appeals, Betty Sutton. Betty Sutton was the youngest woman elected, and I am honored to take her seat, Ohio's 13th district uh, in Congress. And Betty Sutton was not only a member of Congress, now the judiciary, but also local city, county, and state elected office. Following Betty Sutton, I am going to acknowledge Marsha Fudge, a woman who certainly needs no introduction, who now serves as the Secretary of Housing and Human Development. Congresswoman, now Secretary Fudge, served the House in Northeast Ohio honorably for seven terms, and we are grateful for her new position where she leads this nation in affordable housing for all people, no matter where uh, they may reside across the country. Mary Jo Kilroy, the Congresswoman from Central Ohio served one term, and she was a vocal supporter of the Affordable Care Act. And it is a fitting tribute to talk about her today, considering it is the 13th anniversary of that bill passing, and she was instrumental in a very important vote to ensuring health care for people across this nation. The first Democratic minority leader in the Ohio House, you may not know, Mr. Speaker, was none other than Joyce Beatty. She is a, she was the former CBC chair, most recently serving, uh, and someone who I was able to follow in the Ohio legislature, but she is a, a towering figure here in Congress, and we are so excited to have her as a leader in Central Ohio. Chantel Brown, uh, 
who won not one, but two, but three elections in a very short amount of time to make sure that folks knew how serious she was about representing the people of Northeast Ohio. She came from Warrensville Heights City Council to the Cuyahoga County Council to becoming the first black woman to lead the Cuyahoga County Democratic Party. And finally, Mr. Speaker, I am number 13. Amelia Sykes representing the 13th Congressional District of Ohio and Ohio's 13th member, woman member elected from Congress. Uh, Mr. Speaker, as I close my remarks, I want to remind uh, those who may be watching that none of us would be here, none of the women that we've talked about uh, without the gracious and tenacious activities of the suffragettes who made sure that we even had the right to vote so we could stand here in Congress to advocate for our communities. And I always like to talk about Sojourner Truth. Although she was not a member of Congress and although she was not uh, a person from Ohio, she gave a very important speech in my district in Ohio 13 called Ain't I a Woman? And at the end of that speech, she reminded us that if the first woman that God ever made was strong enough to turn this world upside down, then all these women together ought to be able to get it right side up again. And that is what the legacy of the women from Ohio and throughout the nation who have served in this Congress have done. Get this world right side up again. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for allowing us the time to talk about influential women in Congress, and I yield back.